hi guys here in this video i am going to show you how to fix the start menu issue i will show you various steps to fix it if one is not working out for you try the other one i am sure among of these one will definitely work for you so here is our method number one press ctrl alt delete to open task manager now here i open the task manager now click on file and click on run new task Right, right here CMD and just check this checkbox to run this CMD with administrative rights so now here is the command prompt so here we are going to run our first command right here SFC space slash scan now press enter this command will take some time so you need to wait till it finishes so here now we are going to run one more command so right here dism disk space slash online then again space slash cleanup image cleanup then dash image image then again space slash scan health h e l t h press enter <coughs> this command is again going to take some time so you need to wait now it, the command is is good successfully now we are going to run one more command right here again this space slash online then again space slash cleanup dash image then again space then slash restore health press enter so wait till this command is executed successfully now it is again is good successfully now we are going to run one more command right here sfc space slash scan now press enter and wait till this command finish now exit from the command prompt close the task manager now again press ctrl alt delete and restart your system so this approach should now fix your restart up menu issue but if it is not fixed you can try our method too and uh, this method will definitely work second approach is the most uh, suitable approach for startup menu issues press ctrl alt delete and open task manager again click on file run new task cmd then again check this checkbox to run this command prompt with administrative privileges right here powershell press enter now we are at powershell so right here this uh, command actually it is a long and this command is also available in video description section so you can copy it from there because if you're writing from here then there are more chances that you will miss spell or you will you are not able to write it correctly so just copy it from the video description section and paste it to command prompt window powershell window now here i'm writing So for you it will be easier just copy the whole command from video description section and paste it to your powershell prompt now the command is here i, I press enter 
and here is the command executing this command is more effective to fix the startup menu issues so if the first one is the is not working for you try this one right now the command is executing and now it is finishes here we have one more command so again this command is also available in uh, available in video description section so just go to video description section and copy this command from there and paste it to your powershell prompt it will be easier because here are here if you are writing or you are copying it from here there are more chances that you are not uh, writing it correctly Now here the command finishes, I press enter and here again the command is executing. Now the command is executed successfully. Now I am exiting from the PowerShell prompt. Now I have to exit from the command prompt. Close the task manager again press ctrl alt delete and restart your system this method now should fix your startup menu issue but if it is still not fixed you can try our method third so here is our third method press ctrl alt press ctrl alt delete and open the task manager now same go to file click on run new task and write right here app with awpwiz dot cpl press ok now here is the uninstall or change your program window so you need to uninstall any antivirus or dropbox if you have so here i am having both dropbox as well as avast free antivirus so i have to uninstall both so first i am uninstalling dropbox this is also most effective solution uninstalling dropbox and antivirus if any you have so after trying the above two solutions it is not working out for you so just uninstall dropbox and uninstall any antivirus that you have so here i am uninstalling the avast antivirus Right now it is getting uninstalled and now it is now it finishes so just control the uninstall or change your program window close task manager window and again press ctrl alt delete to restart your system now this method should fix your uh, startup menu issues but if it is still not fixed we are going to try our fourth method so here goes our method 4 again press ctrl alt delete to open the task manager now same click on file click on run new task and write here cmd 
check this checkbox to run this command prompt with administrative privileges here it is here with this command we are going to create a new user so here i am writing command net user test password so here test is the username and password is the password for the to user test so here the command is executed successfully i have added a new user whose name is test and password is password so i am closing the task manager press alt f4 to switch the user so here i pressed alt f4 and now i am switching user switch user click on okay and now here you you can see here there are two users the current user is mz and the second user is test so just before few minutes before i created this user so just click on this test and enter the password password i am showing you here the password is password that i created before with command prompt so now press enter and now the windows is setting up the desktop screen for this new user test so now this startup issue should fix now for this user test but if you are still facing difficulty and if it is still not fixed and you want to fix this start menu for the previous user then again press control and delete and restart your system with the previous user i am starting here on my system with the previous user that was mz so here i am going to show you with method 5 press control alt delete to open task manager again click on file and then run new task right here cmd and just check this check box to run this cmd with administrative privileges and uh, right here we are going to restore here we are just restoring our uh, our windows to the previous state when start menu was working and the dash command you can get from the window disk uh, video description section so here, here i am going to restore my windows to the previous state when my start menu was working and here the dash command is rstrui.exe so here the windows is getting restored to the previous state now it is restarting so now here uh, my windows is restored here it is the date and time so now it is restored and now this issue should have been fixed now for you start menu if this video helps you please like subscribe and share it to help others thank you thank you for watching the video